J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 undergraduate mathematics A questionnaire. The official link to the answer key and the original questions are in the description. First, we write down the given. From the problem, we know that for sets A, B, and C, C is a subset of A. We also know that there are 66 elements in A. Then, this phrase here translates to this that is, the intersection of A and the complement of C, the number of elements in that set. Is 47. For this next phrase, that is, the intersection of B and the complement of C is 42. And for the next phrase, that is, the complement of B and C, the intersection of which will have 8 elements. For this last given, that is, The intersection of A and the complement of the union of B and C. And that is 31 according to the problem. Now we are looking for the union of all three sets. To solve this problem, we first draw a Venn diagram. Then we populate the segments of the Venn diagram starting from the smallest regions. We put the number of elements in each region. When all the regions are filled, we just add all the number of elements. Here, this is step one. We first draw the Venn diagram. We notice that this condition that C is a subset of A means that C must be drawn entirely inside of A. And then here B is drawn. For step two, We use the given. First is this brown given. That is the intersection of A and the complement of the union of B and C. A is this big thing here, and the union of B and C is this. And so the complement of this union is this. The brown bit. And that is 31 according to the problem. So we label it 31. The intersection of C, which is this bit, and the complement of B, which is this bit. That gives us the blue region is 8 according to the problem. Now we can compute the other parts by doing some arithmetic. For example, in this step, we try to compute the green region. We know the total number of elements for this entire circular donut that is given in the problem. That is this set, which is 47 according to the problem. So, if you already know that, we just need to subtract the brown region from that to get the green region. And we also know the brown region from here, which is again from the given. And so we know this and this, and so we will know the green bit, which is 16. We only have this region and this region to fill. Let us start with the smaller region again. So the smaller region is, in fact, the intersection of all three sets A, B, and C. So that is what we're looking for here. To find this, we can start with the big set A and subtract. Each of these regions from A. We can do that because the number of elements in A is given in the problem. And we also know these smaller bits. So we just subtract this, this, and this from the number of elements of the entire set A, which is 66 according to the problem. And so we subtract the other bits, which total to 55, and we will get. 11 for this yellow region. Finally, we need to find the number of elements in the pink region. We notice that we can actually use the given 
that is this region here that is given in the problem and we also know the green bit already and therefore we just need to use that number from the problem and subtract 16 which is the green bit that gives us 26 for the pink region and finally for the union of the three sets we just need to add all the sections conveniently we already know a and so we just need to add 26 to a a is 66 the pink region is 26 and that gives us 92 for the entire union if you learned something new today please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications see ya Please hit subscribe.